This is a video review for Transformers Classics 2.0 Galvatron. Now, Galvatron is definitely more of a figure that would be, that was definitely much more preferred not bought, but once you do buy him, when he's on clearance, he's worth it. Um, uh, my brother ended up getting him on clearance for me. And he said that he thought that I'd like this figure a lot. Turns out, I ended up thinking that he was worth getting at full price, because I, I actually do like this figure a lot. Transformation's kind of long and detailed, but that's the way I like Transformers. Long and detailed transformations. That's why I like all the big guys so much, because they've got such detailed transformations. Um, and yeah. One of the things that shocked me the most about his tank mode was that you got a full th you can get a full 360 twist on the on the turret yeah this guy is awesome I really do like this guy um he's got a firing missile and it actually fires pretty far. Um, let's see. Um. <laughs> yeah, it actually fires out with enough force to knock down my camera. But anyways, yeah, to start the transformation, you're going to pull this out. Or shoot it. Because, basically, during the transformation, it tends to fire off. But anyways, to transform him, basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold down this little missile pod thing in the back, and you're going to take this piece and you're going to fold it out. And then you're going to fold it in to the arm, arm like this, which brings out his open hand. And you're going to take this piece and you're going to fold it up like this, flip it up like this. Oh, crap. Obviously, it's on a ball joint. You're going to collapse that together. And if you didn't break this off like I did, you're going to rotate this around. That's the entire arm. That's one entire arm. We're going to get to the other arm in a minute. Um, separate the front. Not like that. You gotta make sure he stays together. Um. <clears throat> Come on. Untab these. Mm, Say those. Put those back in for later. And then you're gonna extend these pieces out like that. These pieces are gonna slide down. This is gonna flip around, and then it's gonna twist. Then you're gonna twist this piece around and you're gonna flip down his foot. That was mainly transformation for one of the, that's mainly the transformation for the legs. And you're gonna do the same to the other side, either way. Um, once you get that all that done, you're gonna move this to the side, and this is gonna ro fold up, rotate his waist, and then at the double joint, fold down. Now you can kind of see how he how his body comes together. This arm is gonna fold in half and then it's going to slide in. And then you rotate that and that is the complete arm. 
this whole piece is going to fold down. This piece is going to come down. You get a flip, flip this up on top of the shoulder. You're going to extend this piece, and then you're going to rotate it. Flip out the fish. Bada bing, bada boom. Almost done. You're going to flip this piece up. You're going to fold these pieces in. Crutchable. You're going to fold these pieces in. In and then they're gonna. Ugh, crap. Weekly, they're gonna tab in right there. And then you, and then you're gonna. Crap. And then you're gonna flip these pieces up, like that. Make sure it all stays together. And basically, if you want, you can flip up this little hook on his shoulder. I don't. And then basically to end it, you're going to flip this so it's sticking straight out, and you're going to slide up his head. And then you're going to clamp it back down on his body, and there you go. Transformers Universe Classics 2.0 Galvatron. Put the missile back in. Yeah. This dude is awesome. Especially in robot mode. Like, a lot of people don't like the way he looks because there's too much orange on him. I could care less. And now I'm going to see if I can get his light piping to work. Uh, there we go. You can kind of see the eyes lighting up right there. Um, yeah. This is basically the final look of the robot mode. This is basically what won me over on him. I love the way his robot mode looks. And making him a tank was definitely a smart idea. One of the things that wasn't so smart about him was the fact that he's small compared to most other figures. Here's Samurai Prowl, so you can get a good idea on how, on how big he is. Yeah, he's kind of diminutive. Um, I'm going to be so upset if he's taller than this thing. If he's smaller than this thing. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm upset now. Um, yeah, his size... Ugh. I don't even know what to say about his size. I guess Napoleon Syndrome got him. But anyways, that's it. I, that ends the review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Uncle Combiner, signing out.